Hello everyone, welcome back to my second channel. Today I'm joined by... Yeah. Laura! <laughs> I didn't know you were gonna say it. I was waiting for you to say it so we could both say oh, it together. sure. And we got... Tina! Tina. Oh, oh. We used to do a series where we would react to my fans' YouTube videos that they would send me. I think the last one we did was like two years ago. Mm -hmm. It's been a while because we forgot, but I thought it would be fun if we did that again, especially on the second channel where things don't have to be as, you know, structured and we can get a little bit wackier and a little bit sillier. So I asked people to submit videos. This was weeks ago because in the fashion of these videos, I forgot again. So this was on March 18th that I tweeted this, but I tweeted that I'm going to do another one of these videos and there were 1,200 responses. That's too many responses. Yeah, that's a lot of tweets to go through, but we're gonna go through all of them and we're gonna watch all of the videos. So let's get started. Also, this video is sponsored by Audible. So check them out. All right, before we get started with watching the videos, I have a present. <laughs> okay. Oh. LaCroix. LaCroix. This is my second channel where I like to get a little bit wacky and drink LaCroix. Oh yeah. Are you gonna cheers? Oh yeah, cheers. Clink. Today we've got a nice lemon LaCroix. Okay, this person says, me and my bro killed this one. Okay, it's called Minor Inconveniences. It's from 2018 and it's got 269 views. Nice. It's nice of them to tell us that it's a comedy <laughs> sketch video before it starts. Do not mistake this <laughs> yeah. for anything else. This isn't gonna be sad, okay? Mm -hmm. So you're not supposed to cry during it. You're supposed to laugh, just so you know. And also this isn't real. <laughs> it's just a comedy sketch video. Just checking how long it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the? You, are you already bored? <laughs> I just, just want to know what I'm signing up for, you know? So he opens up the DVD case and it's not the DVD that he wanted. And he goes, right. <sighs> I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I really like his sigh. Yeah. Cause it does, like the whole premise is like every time something inconvenient happens, it's just this uh, sigh, but like, it's not the type of sigh that you would even use in that situation. Like, I don't know what kind of sigh that is. It's not like, uh, or like, uh, it's just like, <sighs> it's like, oh yeah. Every sip of LaCroix is a minor inconvenience. <laughs> Taste it. Catch. Oh. All right, well, I think that's the general premise of the idea. I don't know if much else happens. Let's go to the end. Oh! Oh! Look he at him! He's happy! Yeah, he's smiling. Oh! Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, God! He's to know! Oh, my God! He's to know! You okay? He didn't really commit at the end there. I just like how he started to smile and get up at the end of the shot. Like he was like, okay, I'm done laying on the ground now. Good. We gotta go. Do we used to rate the videos, right? Should we rate oh, this one? Um, a seven. Yeah, I'd give it a seven. The sigh is really what was throwing me off. I like the premise mm -hmm. where it's escalating, but I just, there was something, there's something weird about the sigh. <laughs> there was and, something too like pleasurable about the sigh. Yeah. So work on that. Make your sigh less pleasurable and then submit again. This is a video called My Grandfather's Recipe. I'm just like, just looking at the thumbnail. He just looks like he's screaming with his hand in a pot of boiling water. Oh no. We may have spoiled the joke before we even watched the video. Uh oh. What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you a little recipe that my father taught me and his father taught him beforehand. Super simple, not a whole lot of ingredients, maybe 10 minutes. First thing you want to do is go ahead and peel these potatoes. So you're going to grab your... No peeler. No peeler yeah. underneath no. your hand. It's right there. Can you for a second? Said... What? Hi, right, Anthony, you know what my name is. Stop. You, you know my name's not Anthony. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> You don't, you don't so far, I'm in. Mm -hmm. First of all, it's a minute and 12 seconds, which is the perfect amount of time for a sketch. Love that. Mm -hmm. Scientifically proven. 72 seconds, mm -hmm. optimal. I think what we're finding is that you might have a pretty short attention span, because we got like 30 seconds into the last video. You were like, how long is this? <laughs> 
Too many tink tonks. Please put them in the boiling water. If you don't have a spoon, that's okay. Good Lord provided us with a salad. Take a handful of these. You don't want to go. Ah! Fish those babies out. You don't... <laughs> so quick. If you don't have a spoon, that's okay. The good Lord provided us with our berry. I'm so f Now that we've got our potatoes out, that gives us the perfect stock for our potatoes. This reminds me of like like old YouTube sketches. Mm -hmm. Like this is quality old goodness. Yeah, it reminds me of something I make with my boys back in high school. Mm -hmm. The one thing that confuses me about this video is what was the recipe? He just took potatoes and put them in boiling water and then took them out. And that was the whole yeah. recipe. Yeah, hang on. Was your grandfather some kind of idiot or something? <laughs> you know what I do like about this video though? Yeah, tell me. He's got one of those soda stream things in the background. <laughs> if you guys don't know what these are, this is basically a cool way to make homemade LaCroix. You basically get a little canister of CO2 mm -hmm. and then you can pump it into water to carbonate the water and you can buy little flavors. What happened down there? I was just kicking my legs <laughs> and the dog was there. Well, I was just kicking the dog. <laughs> this recipe, I guess it makes sense that he got it from his grandfather. This definitely seems like a depression era recipe. Uh -huh. Put potato in water. Now it's wet potato. That one is a 8.99. Ooh. Ooh, I like the title of this one. This title right here is gonna get a 10 out of 10. What? I like the title. Pineapple Man Stops Robber? Yeah, it's got like character, you know? Okay. So we're starting it and the first thing I'm noticing is that it is five minutes long. <laughs> so you're not gonna wanna watch the no, whole no, thing? No, 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 I'm that gonna wanna watch it. I'm just saying that might factor into its score. One day in an ordinary neighborhood. <gasps> oh no, a robber! Why is the robber wearing a cape? I don't know. He's a super robber. Yeah, he do be kind of sneaking though. Look, sneaking so hard. Look at him sneak. I know who to call. When you're in trouble, you know who to call. There's one superhero who's there. <laughs> Did you sing this? Huh? Did you sing this? That's not, that doesn't sound like my voice. Okay. No, what, <laughs> what the fuck? When you're in What makes him Pineapple Man? He just has a pineapple on his shirt? Yeah. Okay, I'm curious to see if he has any like pineapple powers or what is like- What would a pineapple power be? To make your mouth hurt? Yeah. Look it out, What? Robber's being a little bit less sneaky. <laughs> yeah, he's just yelling. <laughs> that's not what robbers do. How many robbers do you know? Like, that's not what robbers do. <laughs> and it's all mine. Pineapple man. What was that? What's what he does when he says pineapple man? Pineapple man. <laughs> Just Pineapple on. man! <laughs> what the fuck? Didn't know you'd be up here looking so good. Yeah. I'm here to stop you, evil doer! You'll never catch me! No! Yeah. Wait, did he kill him? I don't know. But also the rubber band like went Just, straight to the ground. It yeah. did not boing. <laughs> there it goes. I hate to see that. Yeah. Wow, breaking the fourth wall there. <laughs> <laughs> looking at the camera. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like whoever directed this video didn't tell him how we were supposed to react to mm -hmm. that. And so he was just like trying out everything. He was like, Is this good? Stop right there, evil doer. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna fight crime. That's what I'm going to do. If you haven't seen my superpower yet. <laughs> So, so far the robber is the only one with a superpower and Pineapple Man just climbs through windows and gets knocked out <laughs> by rubber bands. Uh oh. And look, now he's dead. That is not good news. What an underwhelming superhero. Yeah. The end. Bloopers. Wait, 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 wait. Huh? It's called, it's called Pineapple Man Stops Robber. Pineapple Man stopped no robber. The thing I've got an issue with is that this video is five minutes long and we, the actual video <laughs> is only two minutes long and the rest is gonna be bloopers apparently. Uh, what are we gonna rate this one? Um, they had costumes, like a five. Here, have some chaos to look at, this person says. People just move in TV. It's a bit, <laughs> it's just a bit, don't worry. I like that. Like, this is a theme for these videos. People yeah. had to tell you it's not real. It's just a joke. Please don't be offended by this. This one's 
got like production quality. Yeah, up. I guess they made this recently. Oh, it's got 500 views. That is all. Man, I can't believe Mr. Mills wants to get this TV for him. I know, right? It's 4K, hey, but wait, you gotta make sure not to drop it. It's expensive. Yeah, it's also raining. Yeah. yeah. Oh! 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 Yeah, that was pretty good. That was a good hit. They really thwacked him. Oh, look at that reaction, too. Oh, he knows he's about to get hit. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> <laughs> he's leaning into it. He's like, you see that? come at me. Ugh. Ugh. Wow, look at it. It looks like glass shattering, but I think that's like water. When I first saw that, I thought it was like snot. Just to just oh, geez. coming out. How much snot did you think he well, had? It's rainy, I don't know. <laughs> I like that the dog is also committing equally. He's like, yo, guys. Yeah, I like this because I know that if we ever tried to film something like this, Peanut would do that also. She'd be yes. like, no, stop, stop. <laughs> Play with me instead. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be 250. Um, sir, your hand is on fire. All right, I like that video. Mm -hmm. That was good. Good commitment, good joke, good destruction of a TV, and good dog. 10 out of 10 dog. Good dog. Yeah. Uh, okay, this channel is Topographical Gang. Click. Good click job. On it. Oh, click? Yeah, let's click on it. <laughs> Voice activated computer. <laughs> click. You want to watch another one of their videos or what? Yeah, let's do Delivering Pizza in Houston. Uh, yes, can I get a large pepperoni pizza, please? Large pepperoni pizza, that's for carryout, that'll be $8.99. Oh, uh, can I get it for a delivery, actually? What? Yeah. So this, I believe, is because there was a giant storm in Houston during this time, so mm -hmm. it's less topical now than it was in September, but that is the background for this video. There's a tropical storm outside. Yeah, that's why I want it delivered. Uh, really? Yeah, uh, see you in 30 minutes. Bye. <sighs> Listen, that guy's sigh was a peak inconvenient sigh. Oh, yeah, that was good. I was going to say, can you do that? Can you just be like, no, you are going to deliver it. Goodbye. And if you hang up before they say anything, then they just have to deliver it. <laughs> oh, listen, they commit. Yeah. They commit. He doesn't know what's in that water, and he just whoop, right down. Yeah, there could be anything in that water. You're 30 minutes late. Why is it wet? That's disgusting. I'm not paying for that. <laughs> oh, that's it! <laughs> that was kind of a sad ending. I'm glad that we knew the first one was a bit. This one doesn't say it's a bit. <gasps> Maybe it's not a bit. Yeah, was that real? Uh -oh. Or were you guys just being silly? Are you goofing? This is my second channel where we like to get silly and wacky, so if that wasn't silly, you guys have to tell us so I don't put it in the video. Okay, this next video is called One Subscriber Special. Oh. So she got a subscriber for some reason, and this is for you, my guy. One subscriber special. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. And that was the whole video. Now she's got six. She, oh shit, she's got... She's got six subscribers. Also, did she have a video before that? Like, how did she get the one subscriber? Yeah, that's a good question too. Let's go to her channel and check yeah. it out. Because I want to see if she's got another... Oh, yeah, she's got a five subscriber special. Okay, but she didn't have any videos before then. Who subscribed? Well, now she's got five, so let's check it out. I, th I like this new genre of content that's just subscriber specials. <laughs> that could be like a whole new type of YouTube channel. Like I do commentary, some people do vlogs. Mm -hmm. Some people can just do subscriber specials. Each time you gain more subscribers, you have to do like a weirder, more guttural sound. Mm -hmm. Where when you hit like a million, you're eventually just like throwing up on camera. <laughs> can we get her to 10 subscribers to see what she does next? I'm curious. Like is she gonna go more the squeal route or more the choky route? Or what switch it up entirely? Yeah. Okay, this one's called Give Me the Ball Pop. Did you make this? Did you make this? No, okay. but I will say we play Mario Party. We, we really like Mario Party and I do recognize this is a game from Mario Party. Mm -hmm. So it's probably gonna get a 10 out of 10 if it's a good <laughs> Mario Party meme. Start. He got balled on by Papa. Oh, I feel Papa. like whoever sent us this didn't make this video. This video has 3 million views. Yeah. And 
their name is Jimmy, and the person who sent me this, his name is Val. <laughs> Val, the video gets a 10 out of 10, but I think you get a 0 out of 10, because I think you cheated. <gasps> Anyway, that's enough videos, I would say. Can I give, like, an award? Can we give an award? Oh, sure. Uh, what should the award be called? The Golden LaCroix Award. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna go to... I already forgot their name. The ones with the TVs and they're dropping it and they're burning it. Oh, uh, yeah. And I like short, sweet, concise, nice videos. Yeah, that was fun. Okay, so we'll probably do this again sometime. What I'm thinking, because the Twitter thread was really hard to sort through, is that I'm gonna make a thread on my subreddit, which is just r slash Danny Gonzalez. You can submit things on there. It's just really hard on Twitter because for some reason it doesn't even let me see all the replies. I can only see like the first hundred. Hopefully this way it'll be easier to sort through them. And with that being said, it's it's time to talk about our sponsor, Audible. I'm sure a lot of you already have a pretty good idea of what Audible is. They're a great service. They're the leading provider of spoken word entertainment and audiobooks in the world. They've got titles no matter what your interests are. They've got celebrity memoirs, they've got news, they've got business, they've got fiction and nonfiction, whatever you like. But what you might not know is what Audible's doing to help us as we're all stuck at home during this time and going forward as we start to experience what a lot of people have been calling the new normal. For example, stories.audible.com. Since schools are closed right now and a lot of kids aren't getting that valuable story time that they need, Audible's come up with a really cool solution. They've got hundreds of titles on there. Most of them are suitable for the whole family and it's completely free no strings attached. It honestly seems like a really good tool for parents to be using right now, so I would highly recommend you checking that out. On top of that, Audible has their great selection of Audible Originals, which is a ton of audio entertainment that's created specifically for Audible, and usually Audible members get access to two of these titles per month. But now, since we've got so much more free time, Audible is giving all of its members unlimited access to the Audible Original. So go ahead. Listen to your heart's content. I've always kind of wanted to get into reading Stephen King books, but I've been intimidated because they're so long. But Audible's got lots of Stephen King books, and I just started listening to it, and it's been great so far. Lately, since I haven't been going to the gym, I've just been going for runs outside in nature. And I don't know about you guys, but when I run, I get out of breath, and I get sweaty, and it hurts. And a great way to occupy your mind from that is by listening to an audiobook. Guaranteed, my dude. So if you need a little escape or you just want to spice up your life a little bit, visit audible.com slash furious or text furious to 500, 500 because this is my second channel, to Danny, to furious I am Danny and I am furious. I love Audible. I think they're great. I use them myself. I really think you guys would enjoy them too. So thanks for checking out Audible and thank you to Audible. Okay, that's the end.